Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Not a topwater edition, but this is where we catch largemouth bass and I show you how to have fun catching largemouth bass. So buckle up and hang on, it's gonna be a good one. Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. We're out on the water today trying to put some luck into this good luck bracelet that Maddie made me. Did it work? I'd say so. Is that a giant? Yes it is, it's a Mike Iaconelli giant, if nothing else. Mwah. Give that old girl a kiss. Buckle up and hang on. Watch how I caught it. Is this the big, biggest bass I caught? I was chasing giant largemouth bass today and mission accomplished, right? Put some luck into the bracelet. Let's go. Let's do it. My luck has been just not good on top water. So that's why I try to get out early. I'm like, I'm gonna try to change my luck, right? Change our luck on top water. But See that? I got that one. They hooked up. Oh man, he's a little. <laughs> I don't know if you can say our luck changed with this fish, even if I get him in. He is not big. I am. I seemed like over the years I'd always catch a giant early morning on top water, but it is not this season. Definitely not the case. That is a little macaroni and cheese that needs to finish cooking till he's done. I do not want to get myself hooked for sure today. So we're just going to take a little extra time. So we're on the board. We're not getting skunked. Let's go. Don't lie, my topwater game this year is horrible. Come on, right here at the boat. Let's go. Talk to me, Goose. Talk to him. I started out Friday night looking for a giant. This is Monday morning. I still, still don't have that giant. Still don't have that giant bass. Come on now, get in there. Oh, you gotta be. Anything that can go wrong today is going wrong, I assure you that. Well, we're done with top water. Oh look, there's a baby deer, oh. I see a baby deer. You guys can't see it. I'm going to try to get up on it. See, look. It's Bambi. Welcome to Bass and Bonsai Wilderness Adventure. Oh, Bambi! Come back! Bambi's gone. It's been a rough right. morning. I even had, uh, Maddie made me this good luck bracelet. Maddie, something happened with it. So anyway, buckle up and hang on. We're going to catch some largemouth bass. We're going largemouth bass fishing, but there will be a catching. Maybe only one, or we've caught one. Did you guys see that footage? I don't know if I saved it or not. I've had some rough luck. Uh, real quick, it is just, we've been here since 5.30, it's now 6.40. I had to pick a backlash out of the zillion. That's the first actual backlash I had to like cut, like get out of a reel in a long time. And a couple issues going on. We were fishing in a little pond. None of that footage, you won't see a video, but it had that white stuff, you know, that gets off the trees on it and it gets tangled up in your line. You've seen me and Charles deal with it in the past. And I think that was like, I don't know, I like was trying to cast hard a buzz bait and it twirled in the air as I was doing some weird thing. And I mean, I, it was, I don't know, excuses, but it was a horrible backlash. Anyway, buckle up, hang on. This adventure starts right now. You guys are going on the chesty because I may still be trying some top water and uh, chatter baits and all kinds of stuff. Let's go. We miss you, Bambi. Peanut butter jelly time. Maybe peanut butter and jelly worm right there. Maybe stay on. Uh, uh, nope, that's... Maddie. This brace. <laughs> Woo! Maybe got to break it in, right? Come on now. Woo, doggies. Woo, doggy, doggy, doggy. 
Let's go. Let's go. Mm, my goodness. I should leave every bit of this bad luck footage in. Missed the fish. Caught the stick that he was by. For sure. This is what, say it, Maddie. Tree pounder. Caught a tree pounder. <clears throat> Check that hook. Oh, sharp. Stuck me. Okay. All right. All right. I know. Woosa. Woosa, right? Woosa with the peanut butter and jelly worm. There's a hit. Stay on. Come on. Change our luck. Got him on the feeling. That's a nice bass. Come on. Get over here. Oh! Jeez. You're a little demon. Get in this boat. Woo! Did our luck change? Definitely wanted that. Okay, here, I'm gonna get a pick, but before we do. You guys, mm, kiss that dude. I'm gonna give a little kiss, but you mm, kiss this bracelet and get some luck into it. Let's go. Right? Oh my. Oh, something hit top water over there. All right, we got a pick. Now do we have a jumper? Come on, jump over into that grass. Come on. Get over there. Bambi would want you to jump. Do it for Bambi. Do it for... Oh, no. Foiled again, Scott Martin. What's the odds of catching one? Right... Oh, look at them. Can you guys... I don't think the camera make it out. There's a bunch of little fish right in there. That's why a lot of times a little bitty popper works. Because there's all kinds. There's bugs hovering around. They'll land there. Little fish. You throw little poppers right up under that grass sometimes. Even if there's not a topwater bite going on. It'll be game on. But anyway... We're trying to catch some bigger, more active fish throwing a... The plan was topwater. It wasn't working. Now chatterbaits and rattle traps, but we may need to try a touch smaller square bills or even big square bills, who knows, or, or go out a little deeper off the banks. So let's go. While we're here, I got this little dude rigged up. That's our little AliExpress crawl creature, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give him his shot up in and around some of that wood. I got a fit. I'm sitting there trying to pull it off whatever it was caught on. It's caught on a fish. Get in here. All right, maybe our luck's turning around. There we go. What do you guys think? Eee, do we need a pick? Of course not. That was a jumper. I need to order some more of these. I've, I'm definitely getting down on... I, I think this is the last complete one like this I have. So once he does get worn down, I don't have him to rig up like this because I cut him down to use on my chatterbait. So, so that dude, he was in there. He was tucked right in there. Oh, I think I had another little... I was talking about getting some of those uh I need to find out there's possibility I can get the what is close to the uh oh did you see that I'm gonna say that footage that bass jumped out of the water to try to grab that oh that's funny I got him though I got a fish that may be the same dude oh that was hilarious we get in here that's a nice chunk we're going to get a quick pick of that, dude. Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Don't you do it. 
Look at that shot. That is what you call determination and teamwork. He was determined to eat it. We were determined to give it to him and it all worked out. This is a jumper for sure. Oh, geez. That was, that bass is the coolest bass we've caught in a long time. He jumped all the way out of the water. I think it was the same one. Then finally got the bait. Then he was trying to jump the whole time I was holding him for a pick. He is just on it this morning. Man, if all bass were like that, it'd make my job a lot easier, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. All right, bracelet coming around. Colors are a little off, but I tell you what, we, we're on to something now. Let's go. Right. Let's try this little shot. There's definitely wood all through this area. There we go. That might be a little better fish. That's a nice chunk. Not, not a monster, but pound and a half maybe, pound or something. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get over here. Come here. Get that. He won't open his mouth. Get your mouth open. There we go. Found a bait that works, finally. Took a couple hours. I knew it all along. I know, hard-headed. Whee! He's definitely a jumper. I ain't got time to jack with you. Let's get right back over there and see if we can catch a big bass. I have been, I don't know if the footage even made it. I've mentioned it a few times today. But I started out Friday night. Right? Three-day weekend. Friday night is when I started out. I'm like, I want to catch a big fish this weekend, right? Fourth of July weekend. I'm like, I need to catch a big bass. That is not him, but that, <laughs> get over here. So, Been fishing with Matt for two days. We had our chances. Uh, Matt missed a four pounder yesterday. I I don't think the uh, this week. No, the first time we went with Matt, which was last weekend, I did miss a pretty nice one. But like five pounder plus, no, I have not hooked into one in a few weeks. So I'm like, I want to catch a big bass this weekend, right? I got three days, three morning. I th I was hoping it'd be on like a morning topwater type deal. So let me let me continue on real quick with this bank. Get out! Get out of there! Oh yeah! I don't know if you guys heard that. That fish is running me all around. Oh, I still got him. He's coming out. That is. Oh, there we go. Oh! We got our giant. I was just talking about it. <laughs> he may not be quite five, but that is a giant bass. If you guys hear that noise, that means your line's rubbing on wood. So you can kind of hold pressure, but you can't get too forceful. Look at that. That is a, that may be only like a three and a half or four, but we're going to call it a giant. It's a Mike Iaconelli giant. Ooh, oh, get over here. Get in this boat. Woo. All right, okay, now we're playing with power. That's a biffle, wobblehead, bobblehead, broken headed, necked one, whatever you want to call it. On a, That's the smallest one I believe you can get from the biffle ones, and then that's our AliExpress Elastec style bait. It is working. On the Tatula that I keep talking about, I wish I could, wish they still sold this exact rod. And then of course the well now the lingle that I wish you could still get it for 70 75 bucks. But I'm gonna get a pick, I'll be right back. Our scale we got from Eugene. We're gonna weigh this old girl. I'm gonna call easy girl. Don't do it to me. I'm gonna call her three and a half. Should weigh four, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Three three, four, close to three and a half, right? But see that belly? Jesus, she, this is going to be a jumper. See that belly? Kind of flat. That fish should probably be 
over three and a half, close to four pound bass. Kind of needs to feed up a little more. But we're gonna see if old girl's gonna jump because I got picks already. This old girl's on fire. She probably won't do nothing now. She's been trying to shake out of my hand. There she goes. There she goes. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, right at the last you turn. That fish was almost, she was a jumper. She didn't know she was a jumper though. All right guys, buckle up. Hang on, thank you again, Maddie. We got a good luck bracelet. We got a little luck into it now. We do have a giant. It's, it's been a hard fought battle to get that giant. It is almost 8 a.m. I've been here since 5.30. Top water wasn't working. Uh, chatter baits weren't working. Rattle traps haven't worked so far. I just started using them, but then I, I threw this. Uh, you guys know that bait, right? Well, let me get it up here. And yeah, I'm having bad luck. We threw this bait and it was game on. So let's go. I'm gonna leave you guys up here for a while. Group. I kind of ran us up and away from there. So, yeah, the uh, you can tell. I knew I was on wood, like it was even pull. You know, the I couldn't really pull and move the fish much. I knew it was probably a bigger fish, but I could hear that. You just hear that crazy movement that the line's making when it it just translates through that you know i got p-line original to this uh braid which this is 10 pound braid and you can just hear it making that and it means your line's on something I, i've even seen it do it in a lot of grass I, I, if you go back and look there's one where i actually use some underwater footage too i was at uh the odessa reservoir and i had a bass the uh st croix a bass x rod and when i set the hook and i was pulling it was like and so if you're not in grass, but you're hearing that noise around wood, that's what your line's doing. So I need to check that and that's what you should do. Oh yeah, I got a little, this line is definitely, it's frayed, but it's peat line original. Oh man, I'm, I, if I was a tournament fisherman, this is when I should change that line. I'm not gonna mess with it. I pulled about to where it was digging into my hands and It, uh, P line original. We can catch one more bass. And I do have a pretty loose drag, like. Got another one. Oh yee! Boom! Had nothing to do with the line. He spit it out. Didn't belong to him. We don't care. He's a little dude. Alright, we'll save that footage. Let's go. Come on. I'm trying. Caught one. I guess you could say mission accomplished, but I want a five pounder or bigger. That that was just that's touching on the verge of being giant. Is it really giant? Not really. But, hey, Mike Iaconelli is a pro fisherman. If he says giant, giant, I'm going to call it a giant too. Right? Of course. We don't have any good jumpers. Scott Martin's got a speed in that part today. Well, maybe. Has he caught any and released them today? I don't know. Put any videos out? Oh, no, we're not snagged. Get the... Oh, my God. That is my last bait, you turtle. Maddie, this thing is... Not... <laughs> Look at that huge turtle. You're getting that bait back, dog. Oh, uh-uh. I ain't playing with you. Get over here. You guys watch this. You watch me get my bait back or get my finger bit off. Oh, thank you. Did you see that? He just released it for me. Thank you, turtle. Well, right, Maddie, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it is lucky. That turtle just went, get it, take it. I don't want it. Okay, thank you, turtle. We definitely, that was a brand new one. It's still sharp. I'm trying to see if it's a, I think it's a little, oh boy. It is a little bent up. I'm going to try to bend it back. I think that's the last diffle thing I got too. I may try different ones. I'll tell you what I got coming is why. So I wanted this and this weight and I didn't have any shake heads why I originally bought these, but they, they do work good. I think that hooks better now, okay. So just in case, I'm not gonna spook that area before I try our bait that's been working. 
in that air. Stay pinned. That's little. Ah, no. Getting smaller, but I think that's what's all up on the bank, these little dudes. Whee! Well, a couple casts in that little Berkeley underspin quarter ounce with, uh, I believe that is one of Big A's. Ba I don't have a big color selection like Charles. I need to probably get my own bag rigged up of them. I'm trying to pick this spot apart. Oh, right there. That was, oh, that was right where I wanted it. Watch it not be anything. Come on. Oh, that, nope. Oh, finally, perfect cast pays off. Got right there, right in that little niche I wanted it in. So, you see, we pull out enough that fit. You guys saw him. Jeez, calm down, dude. I'm gonna let you go. You're not sushi. Get over here. Your macaroni and cheese. Gosh. All right. I think my quest for giants probably not going to happen today. But catching some bass is definitely working so far. Okay, everybody. We're done. I got old rug burn fired up, loaded up. It is hot. It is only 10.30. I'm already sweating. It's going to be like 96 degrees today. It's already, it's, it's hot. So here's where we were. And yeah, anyway, not a bad day overall. Thank you again to uh, Maddie. Lucky bracelet that we did catch a bit. We managed a nice bass. We kind of came out and did what we set out to do. We caught some largemouth bass and caught one big bass, little uh, crappie and it's just too hot we're out of here uh, these are the times you'll probably have to uh, wait for their i think once some temps you know the air temps get down to where the highs aren't into the mid to high 90s and then the water temps drop down accordingly also before there really is a good could be a possible all day bite i'm not saying you couldn't go out here all day long and catch bass but it ain't worth it to me anyway get out go bass bonsai but whatever you do stay cool have fun doing whatever you're doing i'll talk to you guys later we're gonna pound it Maddie, I don't know, girl. Maybe you need to make me another one. I'll keep this one and we'll add one to it. But, ah, it's kind of lucky. I think it's just the weather. 